just because, like, we're, like, everybody's close to Coach Shell, so we just feel at home. And when he's, like, talking to us, we actually listen and respect him. Yeah, we used to show because I'm with the lineman. He usually teach us linemen. So, yeah, I'm pretty used to him. Ready. It's always tough to transition away from something that we've gotten used to over three years, but Coach Harrell's been there for us, and he's a great coach. Ready. I feel like we are taking advantage of the opportunity. We've been listening to more of his tips because he's been doing this for a pretty long time. So we just feel more like he knows what he's doing. Hit. 50 seconds into this story, Coach Cheryl has been the focus. Yet we haven't seen or heard from him. Go. And you won't. That's the way he wants it. Cheryl has coached both at the high school and the NCAA Division I level. Lots of experience. Low, low, low. But he wants the spotlight on his players and assistant coaches. He's made it clear, from coaches to athletes, no individual is greater than the team. We just need to play as a team more, not play for ourselves, play for each other. We're really tight. We, there's not clicks. We're all one family. The pandemic has changed up this summer. No seven on sevens. Heron understands who they are. The Tigers believe they are mentally strong to take on this season, no matter what it may look like. We got some fast kids. We got some big boys. I think we'd be pretty good. We just prepare like like it's going to be a normal season. I mean, we know it's not, but we're preparing to have one, so nothing changes in our heads. We just got to be determined to win. We have to come in a mindset, no matter who we play, we just got to hammer them. We just got to have that good mindset. When we have that mindset that we can do anything, then we'll be the Heron Tigers.